Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. So every time when I ship some order or when I um, want to send some letter or anything, I will send some of these, uh, uh, these cards, my handmade cards. And I got one friend asking how you make these cards. And it's just uh, uh, by hazard, uh, uh, coincidentally, I am running out of some of my cards. So this is a printed card. These are my uh, silk painting. I used to do silk painting and uh, now I look at it, it's so beautiful, don't you agree? And I have choose different kind of paper. And finally, I found this metallic painting, metallic uh, printing paper uh, reflects better of that uh, silk shiny uh, painting uh, result. So silk painting, I use metallic paper to print. And another kind I do is my, um, my original painting. I enjoy doing this exercise, bamboo, orchid, and uh, some of these uh, uh, plum trees. And mostly they are black and white. And it's very Chinese style, Chinese painting, uh, put very high. Uh, high value or high uh, appraisal, um, very much appreciate uh, pure ink and uh, uh, no color. And when you put color, it kind of uh, uh, lower the level of that purity. I don't know how to explain it. It's like uh, pencil drawing or sketching is one of the highest art form. Well, I cannot explain it. Some people uh, agree with it, some people do not agree. But in Chinese painting, we do appreciate this black and white. And uh, there are time I just do some practice of this uh, watercolor paper. I think maybe I can use this to make into my card. Later on, I have a lot of these cards I bought. Uh, the um, these are the one piece of uh, card stock I bought from um, Office Depot from uh, Staple, and then I cut it into half and then fold it, and then put it on. This is how I do this, and maybe today we will do the process of some of these uh, making of these cards and uh, some exercise this is definitely not part of it this is a little bit too big and too just just exercise but those cards can be can be uh, used for making cards now let me get started so first i will show you how i do the painting one and uh, i use this paper and uh, I have tried different paper and finally I found this metallic photo paper is one of the best. And the brand does not have to be this particular brand. You can use other brand. So you can see the paper itself it has this pearlescent kind of feeling. And uh, I, I did my previous uh, uh, silk painting i think i have done a few hundreds of silk painting and then i collect some of the better ones let me show you my silk painting you do not see my other um, messy folders we only come to um hanging out silk okay It takes some time to to upload. They are on PowerPoint. Okay, so 
So, for example, you can see here. These are the silk painting. So, because each order, I may not get a lot of order. Each time I get one order, I do not want to overprint it and waste a lot of paper. So, first, each order I do one of these and then eventually i found it really just uh, becomes so inefficient so i made uh, some new um okay some new slides five open recent silk card let's see this Oh, for example, for example, this one. Um, these are some much larger. Um, so I put the the my silk cards onto this uh, uh, PowerPoint and then print it out. They are not the best quality, but for making these little cards, it's sufficient enough. And so often time, we pay too much attention into too much detail, and then we forget about uh, the the joy of doing things. So I do not make it too complicated. Just uh, go ahead, print it out, and uh, do the cutting and things. When it is sufficient, it is sufficient. It is good enough then it is okay. Let me show you another one. I got some friends saying that uh, um, and they are not happy with my way of doing things. For example, this one, each time four cars, one, uh, uh, four sets, one, two, three, three uh, sets, usually it's like this. And we will go ahead to do this painting. And I got some friends and, uh, and saying, uh, because I sell it for something like $10, $15 a set with these cars. Okay, I will show you. I have uh, uh, three cars of these and with three uh, matching envelope and the shipping to you free of charge free shipping and uh, when some friend says you are making a lot of money it's too expensive it's kind of true if you compare the industrial production you run a million copies of it but for me each time i run four copies of it and uh, I will print it, I will cut it, and I will, I will, um, I will print, I will cut, and uh, I will glue it, everything to my hand. So each of these takes quite some time. And, um, and I am printing money in a sense, but uh, it's printing money from uh, many years of exercise and if you do painting if you work with your hand you may understand the 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 challenge the the hardship of it do i make any sense so now i will go ahead and print so i will print it and it pop up a printing dialog you do not need to worry about uh, other things i just want to show you you want to choose the quality and whenever you print something um you print something uh for for sale for for a commodity to make money you make sure that you do it to the very best so media type photo paper you choose the paper photo plus photo plus semi gloss and this is a pro luster this is something like glossy photo paper this is i will use of classic 
and the paper source cassette and the print quality the quality that is the most important you will not use standard quality you will not use draft quality you will use high quality and now you go ahead to print okay i will go to my printers to print because because of some network problem every time i need to unplug the power and go to my go to my printer to print and do not choose grayscale you will you will print it color right and uh, that takes a lot of time so i will go ahead to print okay here i have uh, printed them out you can take a look at it maybe the light does not show it so well uh, but uh, they are pretty um, i feel they are really good quality um, and it shines it reflects how do i make it show it's uh, it's met metallic shine and uh, really a beautiful I, I i feel it's quite a, a good uh, good and beautiful and after that what i need to do i need to cut them and um, i have aligned each of these and then i will use a goo goo i will use my cutter to cut and do not show any of the white line and cut them and um, it takes a lot of time although i enjoy doing that but it's just time consuming and um, for people who make it uh, as a living this is not uh, this may not be the best uh, way to do your life to live your life but for people who take it as a meditation take it as a relaxation that is really a very very uh, a pleasant thing to do now i will do the cutting and here i bought this uh, uh, cutter for particularly for for making cars and uh, it will be quite noisy and i make sure i lower the volume okay so let's do it we do the cutting Make sure I have enough light. It's from this side and we just see. Wow, I'm quite proud of myself. Look at it. Each does not have white. And then I will glue it. Oh, this one, a little bit of it. I do not like it. I will cut it 
just a teeny tiny little bit like no it's good So happy. Okay, I will keep on doing the cutting and you may not find it so entertaining to see the cutting. So I will not take too much of your time. And uh, I will take a look. There are some edge, not so good. So, um, each of these size may not exactly to the millimeter is the same because uh, there are always some mistakes here and there but they are roughly right okay. Okay.
Say hello. Cuckoo. Hello.
Thank you. 